please welcome to the squared circle, Dale Swoopy. Dale Soapy lost in the quarterfinal round of the heavyweight tournament in June. The first round TKO versus Maurice Jackson. His pro MMA career of his half dozen victories, four coming by way of TKO or straight knockout in under two minutes. He is a very powerful striker. Sophie totally champion. He's extremely motivated to prove himself coming off of that loss in June versus Maurice Jackson. He told me I felt like I was doing very well. I just got caught and it came the fight against me. Well, he was definitely doing very well with the aggression that he was putting on Jackson. But Jackson had that height advantage and he used it well. Sophie's gonna have to start using some head movement and finding another way of getting inside rather than just coming face first. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the square circle his opponent, Jamie Campbell. This is the BKFC debut for Jamie Campbell. Four and two is his pro boxing record. His biggest win in boxing, though, actually came in an exhibition in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 2005. And Eric Butterbean Esch by way of unanimous decision. Campbell told me, just like in the Butterbean fight against Dale Soapy tonight, I'm going to stay long. I'm going to pick him apart and break keep him on the outside. He's a Soapy like Butterbean. He's a powerful striker, but powerful in the pocket. Yeah, that's a good game. Plans, uh, if you can be able to use that distance tonight. The Soviet Force is doing it, man. He's going to get a win. 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 I'm a very technical boxer, and I have extremely fast hands for a heavyweight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight bout, Dale Soapy versus Jamie Campbell. Well, one thing sticks out age here, and I'm the last one to uh, point that out. But anyway, <laughs> he does have a huge height advantage, 6'5 five to 5'10 five on Del Sope. He said that that distance and range is going to be his key tonight. Let's see if he can get it done. Back we go to Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, five fans of boxing, we are set for the next fight of the night. Scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. And it's brought to you by Harris Gulf Coast. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight he wears the black trucks. He stands five feet ten inches tall. His official weight, 284 pounds. His MMA professional record consists of six victories opposite four defeats. And he steps into the bare knuckle square circle for the second time. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, by way of Nana Kuli Hanagi, here's Dale Soupy. <laughs> and across the square circle, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears blue trimmed in white and purple. He stands six feet five inches tall. His official weight, 270.2 pounds. He holds a professional boxing record of five victories, opposite two defeats. Here is the former tough man competitor and the 2005 World Police and Fire Olympic gold medalist, fighting out of Riley Township, Pennsylvania. Here is Jimmy. Gentlemen, the center, please. All right, guys, been through the rules of the locker room, been my commands all time, take yourselves all time. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Back your corners, best of luck, both of you. Back your corners. Back your corners. Campbell weighing in at 270.2 pounds, Sophie 284.0 pounds. Uncapped is the bare knuckle heavyweight division. Great example of that, the fell around number one. Blue trucks for Jamie Campbell, black trucks for Dale Sophie. So Jamie Campbell just taping the wrist, not even taping up on the head. 
Sophie to run through the group the same. Like what I see from Sophie, he's jabbing, even though the guy has a long reach on him. He's just <laughs> on his face Jumping to the body from the southpaw stance see that spear of blood on the face of Soapy that cut big swings from Campbell so we're looking to land the ball those fingers keep the fist closed so chest misses from Soapy snap on the chest so we do doing well to slip those punches. Closing seconds, round number one. Great! That's the ball, and that's a very unfair heavy round. Bare knuckle in the gloves. They have to place those punches. And I think Campbell may have hurt his hand by throwing those shots with 100% force behind him. You gotta land on the soft, on the soft spot, not on the head. So now we're gonna bring both fighters up to scratch round number two. Up to scratch one. Brock Eels won the five round rules. The foundation of this great sport. Great jab by Tim. See a very open hand in the striking run for Sophie. Much more traditional in the boxing than Campbell. So we throwing one jab to get in. He might want to do two or three to close the gap. And keep something in Campbell's face. Cut on Sophie's face on the bridge of his nose over the early in round number one. He's definitely slowed here in round number two. Already 55 seconds gone in this second round. He's 17 years older than Sophie at age 44. And the, the elder statement is looking real good in this fight tonight. No greater than a legend that, aren't you? Hands up! Box! Can we clinch you after the catch? Just getting close with that overhand right. Campbell's gonna have to duck that chin a little bit. He's leaning back. He's a, a, a straight boxer, and we're okay. not used to the, the half pound. 
grapple behind the back. The 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 served him well in the corner just now. The confusion here, Mark Leon, this is a call time and a misplace of time. He listened to Sophie's back rows came out. There's nothing over here. There's nothing. It's officially the end, but there's not a thing to look at. There's no gap there. He has no power. He's throwing with his shoulders. There's no, there's no foot behind him. So everything he's doing is all arms. And here, everything's all arms. That's the same. saw there, it's called the half-tie club. Sophie is trying to use something he's very comfortable with with his MMA background. As you pointed out, champ, it's something that Campbell is just not using at all, not really in his arsenal. No, he didn't use it there, and I think that was a perfect time for him to do that. Round number three, heavyweight division, J.J. Campbell versus Dale Sophie. Fully landing from Sophie. But he's getting closer. He's getting closer with that overhand right. Lenny he was poked oh, in the ice five on since Dan Mergliotti. Oh, and here in the early stages of round three, starting to walk down Jamie Campbell. Oh, oh, short oh, left hand by Campbell, and again you see. So he's going to be on the head. Completely legal, but what's that left hand? Momentarily, 65 seconds remaining round three. Right there. Right there is the position that Campbell wants. That's, right. he, that's his okay. wheelhouse. Right. Drop it one more time. Please don't drop it. Please don't drop it. Just tell me one more time. I'm going to take a point. Whether it's intentional or not, you have to control the ball. Right, please, please, please. Come on, brother. In the center, in the center. Come on. Hands up, ready? Go, box. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come Good jab. Good from Campbell. Oh, to the body, tried to hook the head. Oh, Good oh, oh, so so grip, just trying to get the separation on the body line. <laughs> Uppercut in the left hand. This is a good fight. Both guys are getting, getting, and getting, getting, and getting their best. Back up, back up, back up. That was Box. the illegal under the best of the rules. Final seconds for our players to see the great contrast in this little striking versus boxing striking. Red! He's trying to slow things down. There's the bell. We are heading to round four. Beautiful combination by Campbell walking him back, and he landed all four or five of those shots. Educated hands, what I call those. The fighters have to scratch. Center of the square circle, round number four. Immediately to work on the outside with his jab. Sophie looking for the level change. Jab to the body, leaps in with that hook. He's been waiting all night for that leap in hook. He landed it. Again, there's a boxer. That's just the punch you wouldn't trade for. There's a good left hand from Sophie. And MMA striking is just different angles, as you know, champ. Right, boxing striking. Goal oh, punch from Campbell. That misses the mark. That's the clinch work from Sophie. Campbell right back to the outside. A lot of swelling down and around that.
that right eye on the face of Dale Soapy. Left hand off the jet, landed by Soapy. Soapy remaining round four. Soapy's having a good round right here. Watch your fingers. But it seems like both of them are extended from the moment. Right, please, please, please. Right, please, please. He's right. able from getting those up, big up, moments right. where he could be still in the round or winning the round. Momentarily putting his hands on his hips, never a great sign. And for the clinch is Soapy. So he's been able to snatch the clinch. He's not really been able to throw big punches from the clinch. And he's done a very good job of fighting his way out. Bigger punches now from Jamie Campbell. It seems like he always turned up the heat. He knows how to play the clock for two minutes. He wanted to look impressive in these last 30 seconds, but he's still around. But I got Sope winning this round. Almost a slap open handed. Campbell reached for his arm. Mississippi crowd. It was the quiet anticipation until this card started, and that was an open hand slap. Yeah, it was. Can't score that one. The fighters on this card fought in the UFC talk about the fact that they worked on holding their hands, carrying away punches. Sometimes it just happens with the slap. Go, it's not go, intentional. Go. Not that I'm deeming that intentional or unintentional, but that's what they've been telling me. Ready? Training. Holding right. their hands differently in bare knuckle. Fifth and final round we go. Let's start from Dale Soapy off the line. Soapy always come out early and fast in these rounds. And trying to stay long and straight. Good oh. 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 step in from Dale Soapy. I think it's going to come down to three different man. Who has more than enough left in the tank right now? Fully closed now, the right on the face of Sophie. Sophie slapping now, he might be too tight to call his fist. That was a full open hand slap. Yes. And another slap. Oh, and another. And a knock from Campbell. A good guy to open up now, and uh, Campbell's right out. He's bleeding out of it. Forget about what I was saying about intentional and unintentional earlier. Just why you forget all of that. Look at that. Don't try to sweep him again. I will not tolerate that shit. You hear me? Dan don't do that again. Don't try to sweep him. And you don't use the plum looking for a takedown. Break, please, break. And you see you're the not break. Back it up. Hands up, man. We got to get the break. Just go for these guys with fatigue right now, man. It's a mental thing. Who has the stronger mental? Three seconds remaining, fifth and final round. Back up. An exhausting effort from both Go bodies. Back. Nothing decided yet. Again, you see hands on the hips momentarily for Campbell. But both to the center of the square circle. I think Soviet's going to need a knockdown or a knockout to win this fight. I have Jamie Campbell. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. The landing in the pocket. That was a slap again. It was almost all slaps to Bob Soviet. And I'm saying that his neck is going to be in bad shape. That's what he's doing right now. And that was the end of the fight. Soapy is absolutely not a dirty fighter. I know him well from MMA. It's never good to speculate, but I will anyway. I'm saying with all those open hand slaps and
We are set. Let's go to Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, after completing the schedule, five rounds inside the squared circle. Our judges at ringside are all in agreement. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Jamie Rodelco Destroyer, Campbell. You see how much that win means to Jamie Campbell? Victorious in his bare-knuckle debut. He really felt that his technical ability as a boxer would see him through, and I think largely it did, as well as that early effective inside fighting. Yeah, definitely, man. Uh, like I said, he landed some clean, clean shots, combination punches, and he won those first two or three opening rounds, I think. It got close down the stretch, but he had enough to hold on to the victory. The winner, by way of unanimous decision, Jamie Campbell defeats Dale Soapy.